Ah, yes, royalty-free license look good this time of year. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today, we got 16 mods to take a look at. For all platforms, we've got 12 new and two updates. And for PC and Mac, we got one new and one update. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in-game mod up, so get subscribed if you're new. That way, you don't miss them. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we got a new map. We've got Medvedin. It's based only in your imagination, aka this is a very fictional map. They've got two empty areas is for you guys to build and construct your own farm or whatever you want to do with it we have 42 fields including eight different meadows 10 cell points 11 production buildings oh yeah we've also got sawmill three forestry areas pre-purchased land a new farmer mode a village and a new or new player mode you get a pre-built farm with your machines of course as per normal they do say have a lot of fun this is from metas or mdas MGS is the modder's name if you guys are curious. Uh, if you guys are playing around with this and you want to see the PDA, well, let's pop up there. Take a look at that real quick for you guys. So here it is. Doesn't take up a whole uh, 2X. As a matter of fact, I think the entire area around is 2X, but we do have these pretty pictures around, so that's pretty cool as well. Around here, we'll take a look at some stuff. Well, looks like fields are fairly normal for pricing a half a million dollars or so your main farm is going to be right here and you could sell that for only 194 grand oof selling for about half the price of everything else we do have all your stuff around here as well we've also got your manure heap liquid manure tank we've got the cow barn large pigsty large another manure heap chicken coop horse barn your farmhouse water tank are you getting the idea here you get the idea here and we've even got a silo for you on your main farm as well it is very very busy there's a lot of really cool stuff going on with this map so definitely check it out if we jump over to like uh, vehicles and equipment things that are owned well we've got the fence 700 you also have a john deere 7810 so it's combine harvesters got the new holland i love the new holland looking good there we do have a rudolph trailer i like how the modders actually change things up instead of using what base game uses on the base maps nice plow nice cultivator we do have a cedar that i would always recommend a new farmer you've even got a sprayer on here the hardy sprayer nice well so let's say fertilizer spread. Oh, fertilizer spread. We got two. You got plenty of stuff, guys. You got plenty of stuff, even a front and rear uh, mower. Everything, quite literally everything that you want. Now, if we make our way over to the Xbox, and we'll take a look here, it looks like we've got 1,157 mods taken up out of the total, well, whatever you're using. I'm on a Series S today. So there you go. That is the map Menvedin by Menace. MGS. Check this out. Oh yeah. The next one's a mod that you probably want to get on sooner rather than later. This is the Snow Wolf 500 from Adams Kong. Now, if it all sounded like normal, this would be the modder's first original mod. However, uh, it has been found online, so you may want to go ahead and get this while you can, because I imagine this is going to be removed pretty quickly. Um, I don't think they've taken the correct way of getting this into the game. It is a Polaris. Uh, it's pretty cool. Super awesome. Everybody's wanting to see one of these in the game, but you might want to get on it fast. The only combinations that we've got here are color options. It's a low slot count, only six slots on here as well. Uh, here it is. You got your dude on there looking fresh. We do have lights, of course. We've got a uh, triple bit right here on the back so you can hook up any trailers or anything like that. Uh, we do have lights. You've got a low beam and a high beam here as well. And of course, you can turn it on and drive it around. Now, I'm not sure about the handling on the snow. I do know that on regular ground, the handling is a little bit... Uh, leaves a little bit wanting, but you're probably not supposed to drive one of these on the ground anyway, like I'm doing it right now. But you can drive it around if you guys don't have snow on your maps, or maybe you're like me and uh, most of the time you've just got snow turned off. Well, you can still drive it nonetheless. First person, does look pretty cool. Uh, but like I said, you probably want to get this sooner rather than later, because I don't think this is going to be around on Mod Hub much longer and it may even be gone by the time you're watching this video next up we got a plow this is the force rated b550 now the what do you expect from triple a money but nope triple a money didn't release this one it was somebody else this is going to be a 3.2 ton 200 horsepower 2.9 meter working with 
at 7 miles per hour. Palau or a plu. Design, you got a couple different ones on here. You can throw that packer on the back, which does look pretty darn cool. Giving you guys, I think it's a bit of an offset of 0.4 meter or something like that. So that's neat. You've also got main colors here as well. So you could change this up however you want. We've even got some rim colors on here to all of the rim colors as a matter of fact if you guys are on consoles it's gonna be eight slots of more than the snowmobile next we have the flegel asw 256 it's from Ad agrar design austria they always do some pretty cool stuff and this one is no different this is one of your flegel giant trailers 26 000 liter capacity to hold literally everything and weighs 7.4 tons as far as any type of customization we do have trelleborg michelin bkt and Vridstein tires so you could change a few of those up if you would like and you have a license plate five slots on consoles if i hadn't said that already next we've got a pair of subsoilers it's going to be the agramas duro i30 and we have the i40 as well probably guessed it 40 air 40 40 four and three meters respectively these are going to be four slots and five slots respectively as well and as you can see there is no customization however the design has looking very very good uh one ton three meters seven miles an hour i don't know what i'll say 150 horsepower required there 130 here Looking good. From White Bull Modding, we have their Goran Granota Supra 5M. This was very popular in Farming Simulator 19 because of its wide width. Hit my microphone, it's wide width and low horsepower requirement, at least for what it is. It is not trailed, it has to be picked up, which is very nice. Uh, 2.7 tons, it's not that heavy. Uh, 170 horsepower required, so you don't need a big tractor. Five meters spread, which is great for 2.7 tons and 170 horsepower and it goes 10 miles per hour so that's not bad either this is just a normal cultivator it's going to be eight slots on consoles and there is no customization from barts v3 we have his agramass cutter 300 this is a mulcher for you guys we do have customization on here you can add a little bit of weight if you would like for that it's going to add 200 kilograms uh total we've also got some warning signs on the, as well if you want that or however weighs 500 kilograms by itself 70 horsepower required three meters at 11 miles per hour and it's going to be four slots again this is a mulcher and i think it's going to be pretty well it's also a front mulcher as well i'm not sure if it'll work pulled but it definitely works pushed from ey Mate, we've got his back lifter this is kind of like the front grabber that he also released uh this can be hooked up via three point and you can attach front loader attachments to this so any attachment that's a front loader attachment you just hook it right here so this end goes on a three point this end goes on your front loader attachment and you're good this does weigh almost half a ton though so be aware of your weights especially up high and things like that main color you can change this whatever you want which is great and it's only two slots on consoles as well I think this is definitely one of those mods that everybody needs to download and just try and see if there's any use for it on your farm. I think you might be surprised. From B Gamer 003, we've got another very popular mod from back in the day. This is their Lizard Fork. And this is really special because you've got bells and you can choose your size because we got 125, 150, and 180 centimeters in size. Well, we can also do a double 120 or a double 150. Unfortunately, can't do a double 180 on that one. You've also got pallets with a narrow spread, a wide spread. You do bell spikes on here in the back to your normal bell setup. You could even change up your color. So let's go with a yellow main color and a green right there. Can't really tell the two apart. It's kind of eastery, right? Yeah, we're getting close-ish. Weighs 300 kilograms, and I think that's going to be regardless if I set it up. Yeah, so weight is going to be exactly the same. Only three sides on consoles. It's really cool. Oh, yeah. And if you do the bell edition like this as well for round bells, this has straps on it as well. So that is super cool. Next up is machine sheds, or as it's shown off in game, just shed. I think there's only one here. It's only showing up one. We've got a three doors. going to cost just $65,000. When coming here, check this out. I do love how it kind of goes down towards the back, but it is a pretty large place all together you can put your cedars in here combine harvesters may want to back them in but it'll still work just fine and then you've got door on the side as well over here too we've even got a light switch kind of tweaked out a little bit not gonna lie but it works so who cares there you go the machine sheds uh, aka 
Shed. Next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Garage with Cow Bar. This is from Michael LS, and it is a big cow bar. And the building is a cow shed with garage where you can store your crops or machinery, whatever you want to do through there. Behind the cow shed, there's a slurry tank, which can add a manure plate to, or which manure can be stored. Manure can then be removed from the cow shed. In order to remove the manure, the loading shovel should be placed in here. So your manure is going to spawn inside. That's pretty cool. And then you can throw it over here by yourself. And of course, your slurry goes in here. Oh, my goodness, we didn't dive through there. We'll go ahead and take a look at the back here real quick. We do have a great animation on there and a beautiful shed inside. It's not very tall and it does have everything kind of hanging down. I wonder if we can Terra LED. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to trigger on there, so I'm not quite sure what that does, but still kind of cool. There you go. Hey, either way, a lot of work has gone into this. Look at that. Look at that concrete, man. That looks great. The Garage with Cow Barn from Michael L.S. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Butter Co. Factory. The Butter Company. Yeah. So this is an alternative way to make butter with less or even no milk. That's right. Getting some of the weird ways of making food and stuff. All your stuff goes dumping right there. And we come around here, we can actually figure out, oh, I'm stuck on the railing. We can figure out how to make stuff. So we've got canola oil and it looks like olive oil right through there. And that's going to make butter. So 10 and 5 equals 13. You're going to lose a little bit, but that's okay. So basically canola butter. Um, we've also got canola oil and milk, which is interesting. And that's going to give us 13 liters of butter or... You can do 15 liters of milk, and that will also give you 13 liters of butter. So you are going to lose a little bit, but you would normally lose that anyway in real life when you condense stuff down. So 15 liters, no matter how you do it. I think this is cool, man. This is really neat, and I think it's going to give a lot of players a different way to get a hold of butter. Maybe you don't have milk, but you need butter. No. Well, this is the one right here. Check it out. As I said, we've only got two updates for all platforms today. We got the Anchor of the Country side, which is going to be update version 1.002. They fixed the water ba bodies on the whole map. They've got authorizations of a building. <laughs> I don't know what that means. They also fixed a mansion gear spawn in the store. Uh, fixed the main farm buildings not loading in a hard game. Fixed flying trees. Fixed a wooden sign going through a building on the main farm. Added more car traffic. Modifications of the sheep building and modification of a pig farm. A new save game is required if you guys want all of those changes to take effect. And your only other mod update for all platforms today is the PB3OX1. This is going to be changelog version 1.1. Fix the frames per second or FPS crash issue when animating the dust while working in the field. Interesting way to put it, but hey... It works now. Check it out. Making our way into PC only mods. The first one is going to be the BDM 8x2 PC. Now this bad boy right here is a big disc harrow. 5.5 tons, 300 horsepower is required. Has an 8 meter spread at 10 miles per hour. There is no customization, but I will say it's done extremely well. It is from M Artemov. So they've released, I guess it's their first mod, second mod, something like that. This is their first mod on Mod Hub. So congratulations on your first mod on Mod Hub. And your only other mod today, we've got an update to the quick camera mod from Decker MMIV. This is going to be changelog version 1.1. Fix the mod conflict with the realistic cab view, added control action for doing both change direction and flip camera. They've modified the back and forth rotation of the inside and in cabin camera to work more like head turning. And they've got some translations which have been updated. They do also say to please remember to adjust your input keys to whatever you would like them to be. And that's it. That is going to be it for your mod video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I've already dropped two videos before this one we got the last episode from comms did farm episode number 30 i've also got the farm sim news out today for the old mac trucks massey ferguson 240 and of course farming simulator 22's on sale get it while it's hot otherwise hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace